Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Got to give a big shout out to Elizabeth. I was out the other night with some of my boys from the radio station having dinner. She came up, said, what's up? Took a picture. I appreciate the support. Elizabeth, thank you. Also, make sure you get your hind parts over to JerichoGreen.net. You want to see my videos first? That's where they, where they will be. So you may or may not have heard about um, this 29-year-old police officer in Chicago who was murdered in the line of duty. Her partner was also shot, but he seems to be in critical condition. Hopefully he pulls through. Um, so it was a traffic stop, like it is most of the time, probably the, one of the most dangerous things a cop could do besides going in somebody's house. Um, she pulled these two, uh, these two little young ass career criminals over her and her partner, partner for expired tags. And when it was all said and done, both cops were shot. One of them was dead. So they've arrested the two little pieces of shit that shot those two police officers and their brothers, 21 and 22 years old, and their fucking lives are over. So she pulls these little bastards over. The driver uh, is a 22 year old. He, the cop tells him to turn off the car, take the keys out. He does. There was a girl in the passenger seat. So I guess the brother, the trigger man was in the back seat. So the brother who's driving, he goes to get out. The one in the back, he had a gun on him. Imagine that two little Chicago street thugs got guns on him. What did the uh, police chief of DC say when he was out there calling out the politicians for making these bullshit policies? He says they have guns and they will use them. So this little fucker's in the back seat. Cops tell him to get out, he won't. There's a tussle. Boom, gun goes off. Officer Ella French, she was hit between the eyes. He shot her right here. Now remember that, I'm gonna come back to that. And the other officer didn't say where he was shot, but since he's in critical condition, I imagine it was probably in the chest, head, or neck area. So they arrest these two little fuckers and one of them, the, I didn't say which, or I said which one, but who cares? Anyway, one of them got hurt during the arrest. I hope they hurt him bad. But he got, uh, got hurt during the arrest, so he gets put in the hospital. So who comes up to visit him at the hospital? Of course, the, one of the NIMS, the number one NIM. You know who that is? You want to know who that is? I'll tell you. The NIMS, Mama NIM. Auntie Nim, Grandmama Nim. You know, the ones who usually turn out these fucking killers. So here comes Mama up there to see her baby who got hurt and put in the hospital by the police because he was being arrested for first degree murder. Now he's being charged with felony evasion and all this shit because he tried to hide, he tried to get rid of the murder weapon. So but he's not being charged with murder. But the other one is. But this little fucker is in the hospital. So his mom comes up there. Now, do you think his mom came up there and said, excuse me, you know, nurse at the nurse's station. Excuse me. My name is so-and-so. My son's name is so-and-so. And I would like to see him. You think she did that? Or do you think she thought to herself, you know what? I'm not even going to go up there because it's a high profile case. My son is under police guard. So I'm going to go ahead and stay away and take myself home. You think she did that? Of course not. Because disgusting hood rats don't do that. Disgusting hood rats don't do the right thing. They don't think, they don't use their brain. So here's what this dumbass, disgusting hood whore did. She went up to the hospital and started acting a fucking fool. Number one, like I said, Shouldn't even have gone up there. Number two, she did go up there, but of course she can't go up there by herself. She has to bring her good old friend, her BFF, her ride or die Facebook Live 
or Instagram Live. Something live. They have to bring the camera because they have to get attention. Hold, hold on, guys. My producer's in my ear. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, he said that. Okay, I'll tell him. Um, remember, guys, when Biden is perverted, our grandpa in chief, Mr. Hey, this isn't the mall. You promised me hard candy in the head of an eight-year-old to sniff. Remember him? Remember he said black people don't have access to the interweb. Black people don't have access to the internet. Guess what? This black person does. And she brought her live account to the hospital. So she goes up in there, I want to see my son. I want to see my son. Acting a fucking ghetto ass fool. So what happens? Remember I said she was, that her son was under police guard. So here come the police. And they arrest her ass. But do you think this hood rat turned around and said, my bad, and put her hands behind her back? Of course not. That's not what hood rats do. Hood rats fight. Hood rats tussle with the police. So that's what she did. She ended up kicking one of the cops in the nuts. Ladies, I know you don't know what that feels like. Fellas, you do. And the messed up part about getting kicked in your nuts, aside from the pain or hit or whatever in your nuts, aside from the pain is that it doesn't come right away. It takes a few seconds and you know it's coming and you know what's coming and how it feels. Right? terrible so this rotten bitch that's what she did she tussles with the cops ends up kicking one of them in the nuts she gets arrested now had she put this same energy oh, I want my baby you hurt my baby that's no exaggeration you know how these hood rats do had she put that same energy into building a stable home and marriage for these two little fuckers they wouldn't be murder suspects they're already felons. That's why they were scared. That's why they were worried with the cops. They're already felons. That's why he shot those cops. Not fearing for his safety. He didn't want to go back to prison. But in the video, that's what the mom says. She says, we're scared. In our city, we fear the police. We're scared. Well, how come both of your kids didn't fear him? One of them was complying. The other one decided to act a fool. That's not fear. Maybe if they feared their dad, they wouldn't be like this. Maybe if you raise them in a good home, in a good neighborhood, they wouldn't be like this. It's not the police's fault. And another thing, Mayor Splinter, a.k.a. the sloth from Ice Age, the mayor of Chicago, she came down to the hospital. Now, I hope she was coming down there to visit the police officer who was injured and not the criminal who was injured. You never know with Mayor Lightfoot. But she showed up to the hospital and you know what the cops who were there did? There was a lot of them too. You know what the police did? They turned their fucking back on her. Now you know what it's like to have someone you need to help you keep control of your city to turn your back on you because that's what you've been doing to them since the day you got in office. Racism, racism. It's not, it's the racist cops. It's the stolen guns. That's where the crooks are getting the guns. They're stealing them. They're stealing them from Indiana and they're bringing them over here. Shut your stupid ass up. That's the last group you need to be ostracizing as the mayor of Chicago is the fucking police department. Now, what would happen if half of the police department in Chicago quit, walked off the job? How long do you think the word would take to get to all the thugs, criminals, and pieces of garbage around there? How long do you think it would take for them to get the word? What do you think they're going to do? You know what? Let's hold back, guys. Let's wait till they get their numbers back up, and then we'll start our criminalistic endeavors. No, they're going to ramp that shit up because they know the cops aren't there. We all know the saying. Say it with me, guys. When the cat's away, the mice are going to fuck shit up. Period.
But this disgusting whore has the nerve to get up there and talk about, no, they were scared of the cops. When did he get scared? Because both officers still had their guns in the holster. So when did he get scared? Do lights and uniforms scare him? If that's the case, don't be a fucking criminal. So what scared him? They didn't have the guns drawn. They didn't have the guns in his face, yelling and screaming, making him nervous. They came up to the window and asked his dumbass brother to, to turn the car off and take the keys out. Apparently that's frightening. He doesn't want to go. He gets to tussling and shoots a cop between her fucking eyes. And of course, I'll put a link in the description box so you can see this sorry ass woman lying on camera. Next time, put that kind of energy and effort into creating a stable home and it will keep you out of this situation, you moron. That's the problem. It's a culture issue. It's not a police issue. It's a culture issue. Change the culture. There will be less police. Period. There's a reason the cops were there. You were driving with expired tags. That's called probable cause. That's getting the cops' attention. You stupid ass. So maybe if you don't want the cops' attention, don't ride around with a gun in your fucking waistband in a car with expired tags. Way to have your brother's back. How come he didn't say, you know what, man? My tags are bad. You might want to leave the strap at the crib. You fucking idiots. I hope they throw the book. I hope they throw the jail. I hope they throw the entire ju justice system in Chicago at all three of these dumbasses. The two brothers thugs and their stupid ass mama. Their dumbass, ignorant ass, hood rat, disgusting mama. Ma, you hear the, there's two sides to the story. My sons didn't do nothing, my baby. Fuck your babies. They are murderers. They are killing machines. They, they need to be off the damn street. And so do you, stupid ass, because you don't know how to act either. I wonder where they learned how to act that way. I wonder. I wonder if they were surrounded and submerged in estrogen since you didn't keep a fucking man in the house, so you made them these overly sensitive, over overreacting females in a man's body. So you have the emotions of a woman in a man's body. That's a recipe for disaster, you stupid ass. Man, let me get the hell up out of here and enjoy the rest of my state-mandated meal period. The only good thing California's given me. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe, hit that notification bell, because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone, link in the description box, utilize the PayPal link, Teespring link, and JerichoGreen.net. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.